Welcome or welcome back and help at C squared. In this uh, problem here, we're going to evaluate the six trigonometric function of angle theta given here. And what do we notice about this angle theta? The terminal side, which is this one, contains the point negative one and two, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is to use this triangle to find what I call here R, right? Okay, so we have here, uh, this is one, we can use the uh, as a positive value, and this is two, we're going to need to find this, a square plus b square equals c square, so we're going to have one square plus two square equals c square, one plus four equals c square, c square equals c square equals five, C squared equals 5 and obviously C will be square root of 5. That, that C in our case is what we called R for our problem, right? As I said before, this is R. So now we can write all the trigonometric function. Why? Because sine of theta is y over r. So in our case, when point P is negative 1 and 2, right? This is x, this is y. So that will be 2 over square root of 5, which we can rationalize, right? And we get what? 2 square root of 5 over 5. Cosine of that now will be x over r, which is going to be in our case negative 1 over square root of 5, which if we rationalize we get what? Negative square root of 5 over 5. Tangent of theta will be y over x, which in this case is nothing else than negative 2 over 1, or just negative 2. And then we're going to go to the reciprocal function, how we call them, cosecant of theta, will be the reciprocal of psi, r over y, and that will be, we're going to use this, gentlemen, we're going to flip it, and we have square root of 5 over 2. Secant of theta. That will be the reciprocal of cosine, so it's going to be uh, r over x. And we're going to flip this guy with the negative square root of 5 over 1, or just negative square root of 5. And we have one more, the last one, which is cotangent. 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 Cotangent of theta, that will be x over y, which is going to give us negative 1 over 2. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button and come back on C squared for more help. Thank you.